we got one tiny little munty. Not going to muck about really, really quickly. We're going to take off these back legs. Several ways you can do this. Go through the vertebra, or because this is quite small, I can take them off as you would with a rabbit. So just following basically the pelvic bone to your left with that. Now this is almost like witchcraft tiny little deer. I mean they don't grow much bigger but you'll be surprised what you can get off them. So this one's had a bit of a hammering. So Taking those shoulders off. Quite a bit of shot damage there. I've seen worse. So just get rid of that blood meat. Just by quickly just trimming it. At the end of the day, we just want to get as much meat off this as possible. It ain't going to be loads. What I'm going to do, where's my saw? I'm going to saw that neck off. And then, just to get it to stand up, I pass all that crap. I've mentioned before sawing these little deer because there's no fat or meat over those ribs. It can be quite tricky to get some purchase on the bone. So the muddy shot, obviously this loin fillet back strap, call it what you will. So I've left it a little bit longer at the neck end and then the rest of the neck fillet we will dice or mince. So yeah just working our way over the bones, over the rib cage until we've released one my favourite bit, probably Paul Pullworth, that, 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 wiggle, 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 just like skin in a fish fillet, and because I'm a weirdo, everything has to be squared off, so yeah. Two nice steaks and then just repeat with the other side. Just riding your knife over those ribs as you can see there. Cut round where the pelvic bone ends. Take it off, that goes there. Again, we peel like a opera glove off a society lady. There, halfway. Don't cut through it like that. What a donkey. And then, straighten up there. So 
So that is those. Real quickly, these tiny, tiny little haunches. Take those shanks off, bone them out, sausages, burgers. What to do with this then? Because we want some steaks. What can I do? What can I do? Thinking on the fly. You know what I'll do. If I take this tiny little thick flank, but I'm not going to go to the seam. I'm going to cut across and that can go for diced and then this we may be able to get some decent sized steaks let's have a look Beautiful. Repeated. lovely tenders that are in here what I like about these on these tiny deer these tiny tiny deer is they almost just pull out as you can see there just easing it gentle help it on its way bit of a slash job this I can go on that pile wow my beautiful friends it's not going to set the world alight but not bad for that little thing got a nice bowl of mince burgers sausages lasagnas, pasties, and any other thing you could put mince in. Four of these beautiful. I mean, they need no introduction. Gorgeous. Two, four, six, eight, ten steaks, some mini fillets, and a little handful of diced casserole stews. Whatever your heart desires, dear friends. Catch you later.